Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, September the 29th. Today is the day the Church celebrates the Feast of St. Michael and all angels. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. Give to the Lord the glory and strength. Give him the honor due his name. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. O come, let us worship him. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Declare me innocent from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Our Old Testament reading today is a continuation of chapter 1 of Deuteronomy. Then we set out from Horeb and went through all that great and terrifying wilderness that you saw, on the way to the hill country of the Amorites, as the Lord our God commanded us. And we came to Kadesh Barnea. And I said to you, You have come to the hill country of the Amorites, which the Lord our God is giving us. See, the Lord your God has set the land before you. Go up, take possession, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has told you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Then all of you came near me and said, let us find men before us, that they may explore the land for us, and bring us word again of the way by which we must go up to, and the cities into which we shall come. The thing seemed good to me, and I took twelve men from you, one man from each tribe. And they turned and went up into the hill country, and came to the valley of Eshkol, of and spied it out. And they took in their hands some of the fruit of the land, and brought it down to us. And they brought us word again, and said, It is a good land that the Lord our God is giving us. Yet you would not go up, but rebelled against the command of the Lord your God. And you murmured in your tents, and said, Because the Lord hated us, he has brought us out of the land of Egypt, to give us into the hand of the Amorites, to destroy us. Where are we going up? Our brothers have made our hearts melt, saying, The people are greater and taller than we. The cities are great and fortified up to heaven. And besides, we have seen the sons of the Anakim here. Then I said to you, Do not be in dread or be afraid of them. The Lord your God who goes before you will find himself, will himself fight for you, just as he did for you in, the, in Egypt before your eyes. And in the wilderness, where you have seen how the Lord your God carried you, as a man carries his son, all the way that you went until you came to this place. Yet in spite of this word, you did not believe the Lord your God, who went before you in the way to seek you out a place to pitch your tents, in fire by night and in cloud by day, to show you which way you should go. And the Lord heard your words and was angered, and he swore, Not one of these men of this evil generation shall see the good land that I swore to give to your fathers, except Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, he shall see it. And to him and to his children I will give the land on which he has trodden, because he has wholly followed the Lord. Our writing this morning is from Johann Gerhard on the nature of angels. What is the angel's attitude toward men? This the Lord Christ reveals with one word when he calls them their angels. 
that is, the angels of the little ones, the servants of the children, and all believers. They render this service to every Christian in manifold ways. While we are children, God assigns our angels to us, as Christ tells us in the Holy Gospel. When we grow older and go our own way, that is, walk in the ways of our calling, God also assigns angels to us, Psalm 91, 11, and 12. When we sleep, the angels watch and protect us against the devil. When we die, they carry our soul to Abraham's bosom, Luke 16, 22. Their protection is ours through life. Why is it? Why is that the angels? Try that again. Why is that the angels readily, readily serve the believers, though they are much nobler and higher than we? One, because they are confirmed in the good and therefore gladly and fully obey God's will. God's will and order is that they serve us. Hebrews 1:14. The army of the heavens, sun, moon, and stars, maintain their order given them by God for man's sake. All the more will the heavenly army of the holy angels maintain its order. 2. Because our nature is raised in Christ above all angels and archangels, see Ephesians 1, 20 and 21 and Hebrews 1, 4. Therefore the angels do not refer, refuse to serve us men in honor of the human nature assumed by Christ. As an entire race is brought to honor by a marriage, so the marriage of the Son of God with humanity has restored the human race to honor, Matthew 22, 2. What wonder, then, that the angels serve us, since the Son of God, the Lord of the angels, came to earth that he might serve us? 3. Because love is pure and, in, and perfect in them, the angels joyfully serve us, as does the Lord who himself is love, 1 John 4, 8, in whose image the angels were created, and who declared, I will rejoice in doing them good, Jeremiah 32, 41. Or, finally, because we shall someday be with them in heaven and join their choir in praising God, the angels are happy to serve us here on earth. The name of the archangel St. Michael means, who is like God? Michael is mentioned in the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1, as well as in Jude, verse 9, and Revelation, chapter 12, verse 7. Daniel portrays Michael as the angelic helper of Israel who leads the battle against the forces of evil. In Revelation, Michael and his angels fight against and defeat Satan and the evil angels, driving them from heaven. Their victory is made possible by Christ's own victory over Satan in his death and resurrection, a victory announced by the voice in heaven, now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come, Revelation 12.10. Michael is often associated with Gabriel and Raphael, the other chief angels or archangels, who surround the throne of God. Tradition names Michael as the patron and protector of the church, especially as the protector of all Christians at the hour of death. We join together in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, we praise your fathomless mercy with which you take pity on sinful men. All the prophets and apostles preach this to us in your holy word. Let our hope not be put to shame when we pray to you for all who suffer at this time. For behold, the evil foe has become mighty, and the great ones of this world rule often with unrighteousness. O God, who in former times caused your saints to overcome injustice, 
Strengthen also today all who would stand in need of your help. Grant that all prisoners of war held as slaves and sacrifices of earthly wrath may return to their home. Stand by all refugees and homeless people and be their justice. Be a father to the widows and orphans with your strong protection. Go through bars and fences to those who are imprisoned for the sake of your name. Strengthen them for a good witness, and let them not waver in the confession of your name. Teach us through their example and the example of so many holy martyrs to be ever watchful of the confession of your son's name. Let us not be put to shame when the evil foe lays his hand on us, but if it is your will that we be persecuted for confessing Jesus as our Lord and only Savior, then support us in your grace that we may withstand all trials and grant us peaceful rest. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted the service of angels and men in a wonderful order. Mercifully grant that, as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment they may also help and defend us here on earth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Have a blessed day.